Good morning, first grade. Let's talk about Palm Sunday and the triumphant entry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen a triumphant entry before? You can imagine maybe a king or a queen riding into a kingdom and everybody's laughing and shouting and praising. Could you imagine something like that? Could you imagine how amazing it would be to see Jesus coming down the mountain on a donkey? I would be praising and singing his name as loud as my lungs could possibly go. And that's exactly what happened with Jesus. Watch this. He raised Lazarus from the dead! Who is this Jesus of Nazareth? He's a prophet. A great prophet. A prophet? On a donkey? Did any of you think that it was strange that Jesus would come on a donkey? Why not a really beautiful white horse with this long, gorgeous hair? But a donkey? Aren't donkeys, like, smelly? I thought it was so interesting that Jesus chose a donkey of all the animals to come down on. But you know what? God is so wise. Jesus was fulfilling a prophecy seen all the way back in the Old Testament. What does all this mean? Well, this man named Zechariah actually said that the king would ride in on a donkey. This was a long, long time before Jesus was even born, let alone actually riding in on his triumphant entry. What do you think? Was it just a good guess that Zachariah had? Of course not. Jesus was fulfilling an Old Testament prophecy that the king would ride in on a donkey. As Jesus rode in, could you imagine what he must have been hearing? People sing and praise at the top of their lungs saying, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus was being recognized as both King, Messiah, and God. So why do we call it Palm Sunday? Well, that's because when Jesus was coming down into Jerusalem, people found palm branches and they actually laid these palm branches down on the ground for the colt or the donkey to walk over. They were, in a sense, rolling out the red carpet for Jesus. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Praise God. God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. You see, right now the people are singing praises Hosanna, Hosanna, praise be to Jesus. But in just a few days, they're going to be screaming, crucify him, crucify him, which is to say, kill him. Soon, the people will not be shouting praises to Jesus, but instead asking that he gets crucified. But what you might not know is that you were also yelling crucify him at one point in your life. But we serve a God who is so good. He's so gracious. And he's so kind that as we, while we were running the other direction, God actually came running after us and he swooped us up in his arms and he put a blanket over us 
And he said, you're going to be my child. I'm going to give you a new heart and a new name and new desires. And you're going to be on my team. Praise be to Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Thank you, God. I'm so glad that Jesus came to earth to save us. I pray for each and every one of you that you will repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus and sing with me, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest.